I have created a one page data science roadmap plan for absolute beginners. And this is based on my 10 plus years of experience working in the industry as a data scientist for some of the biggest tech names in the world like Meta and Cisco. And in this one page document, I'll give you a complete overview of what are all the skills you need to learn to get your first data science job from where you can learn that and most importantly, how much of those skills you should be learning. So let's look at the document. The document has just six columns. First is that I have explained here that what percentage of interview questions you can expect from that category of topics. The second column is about what is that topic you will be covering. Then what are the things or at a high level areas which you should be covering for that particular topic. And then a very important thing which I want to highlight is that for most of those skills which are mentioned here, for example, Python, SQL, Statistic, etc., they are very vast fields. You can spend your entire life trying to master these, but still don't learn all of them. So I have defined here based on my experience that what should be a graduation criteria or definition of completion for entry level data scientist role for each of these skills. And then how much time you have to spend on each of these skills and again the assumption here is that you don't have much prior knowledge about these things and you are willing to spend three to four hours on a daily basis to learn that then this is the amount of time you can expect to spend on that and then the links for some of the things which i have mentioned in these columns so this is an overview of the links now if you look at the color coding of these rows you can see there are three categories of topics which i have divided here the first is the foundational skills. So these are the skills which you would be spending most of your time trying to learn. And this is where most of the interview questions would be from. And this is what is going to be the meat of the, your preparation. The second is specialized AI areas. And here I have put in the three main branches of specialized areas like recommendation engines, natural language processing, and time series. And then lastly, some other ancillary skills which you should be learning. And they are very useful when you actually go and deploy these machine learning models. So I have put them here. Uh, lastly, as you can see from the estimated time to prepare that whatever is in the foundational skills area requires a lot of time for you to master. And then as we go towards specialized area, the time needed is much less. And then when we go to other skills, some things can be learned in as little as two hours. So starting with the very first one, which is the knowledge of programming, which is a very basic prerequisite skill you should have some familiarity with. I have mentioned Python here is because Python is generally considered the go-to library of choice, the go-to programming language of choice for most data science things. And here in the things to cover, you can see that you should be able to write basic scripts, functions, you should have some familiarity with OOP, programming language, you are able to write clean and documented code and solve with some basic algorithms. And the graduation criteria which I have mentioned here is that you, you can do 10 easy lead code Python questions. And here is a link of a compilation of 10 easy Python questions. Now, don't be thrown off by the word easy here because to get to a stage that you can do easy lead code Python questions, you have to basically learn a lot of Python and practice it as well. Because lead code is a platform where people put in interview questions for a lot of fan companies. And the e even the easy question there is not easy question for most people. Because when we go to the medium questions in lead code, they're difficult enough that they are asked in the interviews of some of these big companies for even senior roles. And the hard lead code questions, even the senior people most of the time cannot do. So that is why, I have mentioned easy questions on lead code. If you could do it, then that is sufficient enough. And the time to prepare for that, I have mentioned two months. If someone has not programmed in Python before, this is about a time someone would have to get to a stage that they can learn Python. They have covered all the things which I have mentioned in this column, and then they can do the 10 lead code easy questions. Now, once you have done that, the next step is SQL and databases. So you should be able to write basic SQL on different things. The graduation criteria here is that you can write it using 50 SQL lead code questions. The reason I've put in 50 here is that SQL questions usually do not take a lot of time. So you can do a lot of them much faster. And one thing which I have tried to add here is that try to use the same questions using pandas and then PySpark. If you could do 50 questions of using SQL and then pandas and then PySpark, first of all, that is 
very doable because these three technologies and skills, SQL, Pandas, and PySpark, they essentially do the same thing. SQL is very platform agnostic. It's a language of its own. It is very popular. So that is, you should must do. But Pandas is Python's equivalent of SQL. So if you try to do it with Pandas, then it will help you build intuition on what you can do in SQL. You can do the same thing in Pandas. And then PySpark is a very equivalent version of Pandas, but it works in a distributed way. When your data is put in many clusters, then PySpark helps you get that in a parallelized way. So try to do the same question using SQL, Pandas and PySpark, that will really help you build an intuition around how do these three libraries work. Once you have done these two, then you would be able to answer 60% of the interview questions in most data science interviews. Because most of the data science interviews have one to two rounds of Python and then one or two rounds of SQL. And if you have just gone through these two things and have met these graduation criteria, then for most junior data scientist roles, you should be able to cover at least 60% of the interview questions. And it will take you about three months to go through it, which is fine because now you are around two third there in terms of your data science preparation. The second big bucket, which is 20%, is comes from statistics and probability and conventional machine learning. I have mentioned here some of the topics which you have to go through, but there is just one book which you can spend covering first half, which will go through statistics and probability, and then second half, which will go through conventional machine learning techniques. You can just go through this one book, one month plus one month, so two months in total. I've linked the book here. By going through that book, you can answer about most of the statistics, probability, and conventional machine learning questions which are asked in the interviews. And by going through that, now you can cover 80% of the interview questions which are, which are asked in most data science interviews. The next skills of deep learning and Gen AI, they basically build on top of your knowledge of conventional machine learning. So in deep learning, you should be using some library of your choice. I would recommend PyTorch. And if you could go through this video tutorial from Patrick, I think he has a very detailed, good tutorial on how to use PyTorch. And if you are familiar with most of the topics which he has covered, then I think you are in a good shape. And then for Gen AI LLM, I would recommend that you build two examples from the tutorials given on LangChain and LangGraph website. I've linked to the tutorial pages here. They are very easy to follow. And by actually building a rag based and an agentic framework using some LLM, that will really help you build an intuition. And if you can go through that tutorial and you think you know most of the things, then that is a very clear graduation criteria. So overall, once you get to this stage, then you should be able to answer 90% of the interview questions which are asked in most of the junior data scientist roles. And in terms of time commitment, you can see it is two months, one month, one month, so four, five, six, seven. So seven months it will take if you have no prior background or Python, SQL, all of that. With dedicated study plan, in seven months you can get to a stage that you can answer 90% of the interview questions. Now coming to the specialized AI areas, about 5% of the interview questions generally come from that. But if you're applying for a role which is just for recommendation engines or just for natural language processing, then that ratio can go much up. So here I have mentioned some resources for recommendation engine, time series, and natural language processing. Most of these graduation criteria, they're coming from a PyCon conference talks. I really love these talks because they are given by the industry experts who are not, not very good at presenting, but they are great teachers when they're teaching you something which they have great mastery on. So go through these links, which I've mentioned here. These are links for the PyCon talks. For recommendation engine, the talk is from 2015. That is when I was learning recommendation engines. And then uh, for natural language processing, 2016, 2017, all of these are very great talks, very beginner friendly, and they have walked through tutorial of what you what are the steps you can take to follow along exercises. And in total, this will take you about a month to go through all these specialized areas. And again, this is a very beginner friendly resource and will not make you an expert in these fields, but will give you enough idea about it that you are able to answer the 5% questions, most of them, if you have gone through these video tutorials and have done the follow along exercises. Now coming to the last piece, what are the other small skills which are needed? Uh, again, in the interview setting, they carry about 5% of the weight, but when you actually go on the job and you're building the projects, 
then these skills are actually very much needed because without those skills, you won't be able to implement anything. For example, Git, you need to know Git to commit your code on a day-to-day -day basis. You have to be able to set up virtual environments and deal with them. So these skills are very important. But the good thing is that if you look at the time to it, it takes to prepare, it is generally one week, two hours, one day. So some most of them are very small. I've put the link for the YouTube videos, which you can go through, which will give you a very good overview of the skills which are mentioned here. And if you can understand most of the things which are mentioned in this video, then I think that is sufficient graduation criteria for you to be at least interview ready for the beginner data scientist roles. So overall, we can see it takes seven months to go through the foundational skills. It takes about one month to go through the specialized area and then about one week for other skills. So in total, it is a nine month long roadmap. If you do not have any prior background in programming or statistics or ML or anything, then definitely it will take you much less time than nine months. But use this graduation criteria. Even if you think you know Python, see if you can go through the graduation criteria, which I have mentioned here. You can come qualify for that because that way you can go through step by step, mark any everything which you think you know as complete. And then by the time you reach to the end of the list, then you can start applying for junior data scientist roles. And when you sit in the interview, you would be able to answer most of the interview questions. But if you come across some interview questions which are beyond what I have outlined in this document, please mention that in the comments below so that, so that I could keep updating this document. Now, once you have gone through this, the next step is to start applying for data science jobs. I have created this full video on how you can leverage LinkedIn to get a data science job within 90 days. Please check it out. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching.